Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Adventure Craft, episode 19 for our series here and I had to spend a lot of time going out and harvesting the last bit of resources we need, particularly the scrap metal which we needed a lot of to be able to do this. But I'm back and I've got everything and it's all right here on the right. So this is what you need to make the cloning vat, 10 scrap metal, 4 or 1 incomprehensible gadget we don't need obviously. All of those. So one incomprehensible gadget, five slime pots, five glass sheets, ten iron sheets. And you can see here that we can make the cloning vet. So let's go ahead and do that. We need a workbench to do it. There we go. We've got the cloning vet. Now we're going to want to build this. It is nighttime. I bet if we move our crafting table, right, we can find room to build it in here. So let's do this. Okay, we could try to do it back here in the corner. That's what I would like to do. Whoa, that's huge. That's not going to work like that, obviously. Um, boy, I don't really have a whole lot of room for it. Here's what I can do. I can move the tel teleporter, right? Like, I should be able to move that back here. The workbench, realistically, could go right here, more than likely. Oh, I could do it like that, too. That's actually a lot easier. That's a hell of a lot easier. Let me pick this up, then. I keep forgetting I can do stuff like that. If I just drag it. Oh, the teleporter, you can't. Okay, that's fine. I can put the teleporter right here in the back. Um, if I can get it farther back, that'd be nice. Okay, and then I should be able to move the cloning vat right here. Let me see if I can... See, that one you can't drag either. I wish you could, but that's fine. We can get around it so I guess that's all that matters let's go ahead and use it aha souls food create well these are the wandering souls so I'm guessing that's where you put that's where you put the souls yep see create okay we need to put some food in there though what do these if those are the wandering souls and what are these for a large green dummy seems like it could come alive at any moment. I thought that those were for the cloning vats. <gasps> oh, they are. Interesting. Now we just need to put some food in there and we can make one. Okay, well, we'll put an apple because that's really the pretty much cheapest form of food I got here. Oh, it takes a... Oh. I apologize, I had to grab the squeaky toy from my dog real quick before she caught on to what I was doing. I had to like lunge across my desk to grab it. She's like right next to me. She's all freaking mad at me now because I got it on my desk. Go away. Go find another toy to play with. You don't need this one. It's too loud. Uh, okay. Um. Yes, yeah, so we got to feed him a lot of food and I didn't know it was going to take this much food. Luckily for us, we have a decent amount of food as well as a bunch of it cooking. But I hate to give him... I hate to give them all of my good food, right? And I really want to give them all my... Okay, apples are obviously a little bit, but what does something like uh, some freshly baked bread do? It's a little better. What about a pie? As much as I hate to waste a pie. Better be a lot. It's a pretty good amount, actually. Still looks like it's going to take a lot. So I, I know that I have to go out and harvest a lot of food. If I switch this out, it'll be faster. I've got a ton of food I can make, so... Um, what we can do is go out and make some more food. Let me wait for these, or we can harvest some more. Wait for these to cook. Uh, 
And that gives me some more. And I got a bunch other stuff as well. The dog is actually trying to pull the squeak toy through my desk, like from behind me. There, I got it. I apologize, guys. I I usually pick up our toys before I start recording because this happens. Oh, all right, yeah, raw pork chop. We got a ton more of this, as well as hunks of coal. Let me try to put the whole hunk of coal in there. Oh, yeah, it will burn. Oh, okay, not worth it doing it like that, though, obviously. This is way better if you break it out. Yeah, see, burns extremely fast in the forge, but you can get more out of it if you break it down. Yep, okay. Probably should read all that stuff, right, before I... Okay, let's swap this out and burn the slow burning stuff as we go out and do some more um or gather some more material that we could use for crafting stuff. We've got sugar, flour, we need yeast. Which we should be able to get out of those creepy guys with the scythes. Uh now those guys are pretty hard to kill, but the dog seems to do a pretty good job at doing it. We just gotta find where they are. They're usually right around these wheat areas. That or if we could find a shop selling food, that'd be fine too. Because I got tons of, well not tons, but a decent amount. It's a good thing I kept those wandering souls. And I never would have guessed that. Like, it's a good thing I went down in the uh, underground, I guess. Because I never would have guessed that that's where I needed to find those. We'll sell those. So, yeah. Just to sell. I want these, so. Because that's food. Realistic, realistically, I can get a lot more food buying it than I can chopping it down. Like, yeah, I could chop this down and get, yeah, one whole whopping blueberry. Like, what's that going to do, you know? I'm better off going out and trying to find shops to buy food from. Or if I get some yeast, I can make some bread and stuff, and that'll really kick it off. I mean, I've got enough food to do it. I just, you know, I... Trying to save some of the freaking food for myself. I could put all the apples in there. They would probably be fine. We could knock the beehive down, get a lot of honey. The dog usually does a pretty good job. Be um, these trees are actually really good for getting honey out of. For the most part, the bees just don't seem to do the damage anymore to me like they used to with my armor. If I can find another one, actually. I'm not sure if, like, you can eventually deplete a lot of the resources in your area. So, I don't know if maybe, like, knocking down all the bee trees is a bad idea. I'm not sure how that works. If I put the beehive in the forge, does anything happen? Probably not. It'd be cool, though, if something did. Man, this stuff does burn slow. See, I've got seven beehives, so what I can do is I can... Oop, that's the wrong thing. I can throw the beehives on here, and it makes a ton of honeycomb. Which might be good. We can see. We'll put half of it in there. That's going to take us nowhere. I'm better off eating that. I'm better off eating the honeycomb, since I get a lot more out of eating the honeycomb and giving him the bread, as silly as that sounds. It's pretty much like exactly how it works, right? Yeah, that bread's going to work a lot better. If I put the honeycomb down there and eat it, it gives me a lot more. Well, I'll keep some of the bread. Give him half of these, or a little more than half, I guess. Here, take a blueberry, actually. See, the blueberry doesn't even do anything. As I figured, it probably wouldn't. So that's an interesting thing that you got to go through and kind of harvest to to get all that. I That's kind of cool. I sh could should get a second forge up and running is what I should do. What does it take for me to get another forge? I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've made a forge. Ah, yes. Yeah, stone slabs. Ah, gravel. And charcoal. I've got plenty of charcoal. Oh, I've got coal, actually. I don't have charcoal. Ah, charcoal. I don't have any stone, though, because I constantly sell it every time I get it. All I need is a little bit of stone, and I don't have any. Always getting rid of it. 
And I never see any reason in keeping it. We'll cook up the goblin shank. So it doesn't matter. I could put this in here at least and burn it real quick. And then all those can get cooked up. And these. There you go. He's almost done. How about these blueberry? Nah, you know what? Actually, I'm better off using those blueberry handfuls to make. To make some other stuff. A human skull and raw dough makes a grim biscuit. Interesting. Um, I should be able to make some blueberry muffins. Is what I should be able to do. I just need... Oh, I need, I need paper. I don't have any paper. Do I have any rubbish? Oh, I do. Not enough for paper, though. I don't have any metal dish, do I? No, I could make some, but actually, no, I can't because I'm out. Oh, well. It was nice. Let's go cook the, give him the blueberry handfuls. Let's see how much it does. And eh, not really enough to make it worth my while. Um, I, let's see. Oh, let's just finish them off. I hate how much food it takes. I mean, I understand it's kind of got to be a good thing, but. All right. What's oh, he got? One more thing left. Oh, no, we just got to create them. All right, let's do create. Oh man, look at we actually get to create. All right, his name's going to be uh Oh man, uh I'm trying to think of somebody who's Let's see. Pumpkin, that's a guy who's who comments on pretty much every video, so we'll make Pumpkin in. We'll do that. Eyes um That's about that looks pretty fitting. I think a beard's pretty fitting. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Start. And what that actually should give us is it should give us ah, a clone right here. And we should be able to... Yeah, we can... So, okay. I haven't messed with this, obviously. As you guys can tell, this is my first time doing that. But we can see here, um, we can set him to guard. And he'll stay here. Um, turn that off and he'll follow us. Uh, the green bar is his life. Bar, we can tell him to flee and he'll run. Um, AI on and off. I don't know what that does, but we can equip him with gear, which is pretty cool. And he will help us gather resources and all sorts of stuff like that. I actually got another one of these and another soul. So I actually got enough to make five of them if I want to, but it's going to take a freaking hell of a lot of resources. Um, we'll give him a stone sword, I guess. And a stone axe. I want to go try out like harvesting materials and stuff. If he helps me. Bro, you going to attack or what? There you go. Interesting. So unless I set him to guard, he pretty much won't do anything. Holy crap, he almost died. Can I heal him? I'm not sure. Do I got to give him a health potion? Dismiss. Oh, okay. Wow. Huh. Um, wow. I. That's way more than I want to get into. So I guess you can. Boy. You can technically tell him what to do. So, foe, player, target, attack. Um, current target. Yeah, player, target, attack, on. Okay, so now that's on. Self, uh, if his H HP is less than uh, 20, he'll use a healing item. And we've got that on, right? 
Um, if my HP is less than 20, he'll use a healing item on me. That's kind of cool. Um, an ally, so another clone. All right, so wow. We could save that if we wanted to, but we'll just leave it. A uh, little loot bag, okay. I don't think I have any other loot bags. It was kind of a one-off thing. I just realized that my... Shield is busted, and it probably has been for a while. Where did that go? And all my weapons are busted because I haven't had a chance to... I haven't had a chance to fix any of it, and I don't have any scrap iron to do it, so I'm kind of out of luck. Oh man, a rusty key and golden syrup. You can make gold keys. This game has a ridiculous amount of stuff. It's just, as soon as I'm like, okay guys, I pretty much found everything you can find. It's like, holy crap, there's more to it. It's just, it'll, it really never ends. It's kind of amazing. So I want to try giving him a healing item and see if he'll use it, right? So. He can't hold a lot, but we can give him bigger backpacks, which will unlock more of his storage. Let's get out here real quick, see if he gets attacked and uses it. Hey, he used it. That's what I wanted to see. All right. Nice. That's pretty cool. Does he use the teleporter with us? Oh, yeah. Look at that. He comes right with us. So you could get like an army of these guys. You really could go just absolutely nuts with this. They look like they could die pretty easy though if you don't take care of them. It requires a... So basically like it... It's going to require a pretty vast amount of... Let me see if it's like sleeping will heal him. Nah, he just sits there and watches you sleep. It's going to take like a vast amount of resources to field an army. They're going to be dying all the time because unless you put armor on all of them, I'm going to tell you what, the end game in this game is, I don't, it's pretty well fleshed out. I mean, you'll stay busy. If you want to stay busy, this is the kind of game that'll keep you busy because you get to this end, start getting to more of this end game stuff and like, if I've got four or five of these dudes running, I got to run around and get boar skin and craft them all gear and shields and collect iron and craft them all weapons and craft them all stuff to to uh i'm pretty sure you could set them up to mine and harvest materials right i mean look at this i mean look at all the stuff you can do you can mess with this and you can mess with this and have these guys do just like some really, look at, repair their weapons. I mean, this is insane. So you can have them repair their own weapons, right? I mean, that's just nuts. I mean, backpacks, you got to give them new backpacks, all new gear. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this is very, very cool. All right, well, I hate to kind of leave it off here, but um, I feel like I've explored a lot of what the game has to offer. And, um, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot here in this end game to where I'm going to be doing just a load of the same stuff over and over. And I don't think that you guys are going to want to watch me clone 10 of these guys and craft them all in armor and weapons. And it's just a lot to take on. But, um, you know what, if you guys want to check out this game, I highly, highly recommend it. Cause I've had a blast playing it. I actually jumped into this series thinking it was only going to be, you know, three or four episodes of just checking out the game. And it turned into, a really long series simply because one, everybody was really enjoying it. I had a massive amount of uh, great suggestions from you guys and just 
the overwhelming support for the series in general was pretty fantastic. And then on top of that, like the, the, the farther I dived into the game, the more I realized that was here. I was like, there's way more here than you think. I mean, holy crap. Look at our base. This game is just so deep. And the coolest part about it is like, it took me a while to get this far. And I'm not even, I haven't even explored. I would say that I haven't even uncovered like, um, like I haven't even covered 50% of what the game has to offer. I mean, th there seems like there's so much here just when I hit a point where I'm like, all right, there can't be much more. I find something completely new. I mean, we haven't even built the laser weapons yet. There's other stuff. We haven't even built the, use the construction menu yet. I mean, look at this inventory. You go in here and there's like all this building stuff, deployable torches, which I just found. So clearly there's other stuff in the game I haven't even found yet. You know, you go over, I haven't even gotten into the better armor yet, any of the reinforced stuff. Um, there's tons of potions, tons of weapons. Like, where do you get all this golden staff and golden syrup? Where do you even get gold? I don't even know. Oak fire wand, handguns, shotguns. I mean, it, this game is just insane. The laser pistol. I, I just... Don't even know. Hey, I bet I know what, I bet I know what makes that laser pistol. If I had scrap metal, I'd make one right now, but I don't. But I bet I know what does make it. I bet this is the ammo, the plasma dust. I bet that's the ammo right there for it. But I'm telling you what, guys, there's a ton to this game. Like, this is absolutely amazing. But highly recommend those of you who have stuck this long in the series and you've been on the edge about getting it. Just get it, because you're going to have a lot of fun with it. I, I would highly recommend this and support it. I had no idea that this was going to last this long, but here we are, you know, 19 episodes in, and I'm still having a good time with it, but I feel like I'm getting into a little bit more repetitive stuff, and I just, I don't want to, even for my own sake, I just, I don't want to have to go out and gather, you know, a thousand boar hides to gear up a team of guys and stuff. It's just a lot to take on, but... um for anybody that likes games where, you know, it keeps you busy, which I, I like games like Dwarf Fortress and stuff like that, where I think it's just, you know, I'm, I'm staying busy. Uh, this is definitely the game for you. Either way, I'm going to leave it off here. And uh, I really uh, want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you guys really enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>